we have a liquid horizon and we're about 36 nautical miles out from the Abacos but we're not getting there with any speed less than three knots so this is a really slow and steady sail but this is part of the reason why we love our gym true wind is only what 4.8 knots we make about just over half of the true wind so we're going 2.5 which is pretty good this is why we like sailing our gym she can sail really well in light winds and it is a beautiful sight out there can't really ask for much more. With daylight running out, we reluctantly turned on the motor for the last 20 nautical miles. When they said it was a story for the dead. The next day we explored the Pelican Key Land and Sea Park. Later we took a quick dinghy ride to Little Harbour for drinks and tetherball. We looked out over the waters we had slowly sailed the previous day and enjoyed a beautiful view. Yeah, then we can all crawl into it. Yeah, that's Huge. awesome. Yeah. Okay, so this is the angle. Yeah. Because we couldn't fit it in ours. Bill. They, um, they make a smaller one. Oh, oh, as in we can fit the conch in. Oh yeah. Uh, we, we found the smaller conch. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Fits in there perfectly. Fit feels pretty cold. Sweet. Perfect. That looks good, right? Um, I think so. So we have one shell intact and one conch ready for munching. It's all the that's what it is. Using the Dremel tool, we removed the crown of the conch, revealing a perfectly sized hole for conch blowing. After making the hole, we could see the remnants of the conch's foot. We soaked the shell and then blew out the remaining flesh. Wow, you guys didn't fool around with the propane. The next day, we sailed on the banks from our anchorage in Linyard Key to Hopetown. With our engine problems, uh, we've decided to sail as much as we can. It's not very convenient at the moment, seeing as we have one knot of wind apparent, but uh, we're actually doing okay. I think we have the currents with us. Yeah, our speed through water is 
Oh, wind's picking up. Diana's experimenting, trying to get us a bit more speed. This is my version of a whisker pole. <laughs> like a kitty. Yeah, we're flying, honey. We're doing 2.7. This is a giant sandbank, and all these boats are going around it. But uh, with our Gemini and its really, really uh, shallow draft, we can just go straight over it. Yeah, Gemini for the win. We're still in six feet of water, so we're not in any uh, any trouble. But yeah, it's great. Luckily for us, the winds clocked around, and we had a slow and easy sail up to Hope Town. Of cold and day. Oh, these heavy bones, they always break. I climbed this rocky side. Oh, oh, avalanche fell in my mind. Oh, oh, avalanche fell. Forecasts have been really off lately because of all these fronts, I think. So this is behind us. This is in front of us. Beautiful. We were in Oriental, North Carolina, getting our bottom painted and we'll continue north shortly. You can see our location on our live map, link in the description. Thanks for watching.